While most Office laptops stick with integrated graphics, the Acer Aspire 7 isn't like most Office laptops, offering you up to an RTX 3050 Ti. Other than that, the Aspire 7 feels like any other Office device, with a very efficient Zen 3U series chip, which won't be a bottleneck for the GPU, while offering much higher efficiency, which is always important. To achieve a lower price point while offering this hardware, Acer has had to sacrifice some stuff, which results in a fully plastic chassis. On the other hand, plastic keeps the laptop relatively lightweight, with a weight and profile of 2.15 kg and 22.9 mm, respectively. The plastic seems to be pretty durable, with only the lid showing any noticeable flex. Still, it opens with one hand, showing off the goods on the base. Before we get to the base though, we have to mention the 720p shooter on the top bezel, which has software back temporal noise reduction. The base comes with a full-sized keyboard with a backlight. It's not perfect by any means, as the key travel can be longer, while the feedback isn't consistent. The touchpad has an average size, whilst having a fingerprint reader in the top left corner. What's rad about it is that it doesn't interfere with the experience at all, keeping the pad plenty responsive and accurate. Going down to the sides, most of the ports are on the left side, with two USB Type-A 3.2 Generation 1 ports, one USB Type-C 3.2 Generation 1 port, an HDMI connector, and a LAN port. As for the right, it keeps the audio jack as well as one USB 2.0 port. While the laptop in its configuration could be a great creator device, the display puts any chances of that happening at around zero. The full HD IPS unit comes with only 58% sRGB coverage, while the brightness is pretty average as well, peaking at 260 nits. On the other hand, the contrast ratio is pretty good at 1630 to 1, so you can expect pretty deep blacks. If you want to improve the work of your display, we recommend checking out our display profiles, which are linked down below. While the speakers do have deviations across all frequencies, the sound that comes from them is decent and has a good max volume. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. For CPUs, you've got the Ryzen 5 5-5625U and the Ryzen 7 5825U, of which we tested the bigger Ryzen 7. It shows amazing performance inside this chassis, being super close to the Core i7-12650H inside the TUF-F15 in Cinebench R23. As for the 3050Ti, the 60 watts power limit doesn't seem that limiting, as the GPU scores well in benchmarks. In games, the GPU can handle AAA titles at 1080p, at good settings and frame rates, so we'd say that gaming is definitely enjoyable on the Aspire 7. Gaming also leaves the laptop comfortable, as there isn't a lot of noise coming from the cooling setup, which has two heat pipes and two fans. After our torture test, the base is left at 43 degrees Celsius. During the test itself, the CPU maintains high clock speeds of 3.33 GHz during the first few seconds, running at 45 watts. In the later stages, the CPU runs at 25 watts, which is pretty good. As for the graphics, the 60 watts power limit allows for the GPU to run at 1.5 GHz and more for more than 30 minutes. However, what does all of this mean for the battery life? Well, the 53 watt hours battery pack lasts for 10 hours and 40 minutes of web browsing, or 9 hours and 10 minutes of video playback. The upgradability is also stellar, which is great to see from a more affordable device. On the inside, there are two SODM slots for DDR4 memory, as well as one M.2 slot for PCIe Generation 3 SSDs. In the description, you can find our teardown video, which shows how to access both the RAM and the SSD slots inside the Aspire 7. 
With every other gaming laptop getting more and more expensive, it's nice to see that Acer keeps the tradition of offering office-slash-gaming hybrid laptops that are cheaper and offer some benefits on their own. A single keyboard swap away and the Aspire 7A71543G will be able to compete with other members of the budget segment and do a pretty darn good job at it. For more information about the Acer Aspire 7A71543G, you can go over to our website and read our complete review.